Hello people, Jeff the King here and welcome back for another Let's Play Minecraft and I went back to the nether, didn't bother to film it because I just went to the fortress I went to before without committing suicide and basically I found a uh, nether wart, got 10 more pieces of nether wart but I didn't find another blaze spawner so I will have to go back to the nether off camera again to find a different fortress to find another blaze spawner so I can actually get the blaze rods that I need so that's going to have to get done another day. I also went out to the world and mined up a, well, dug up a shit ton of clay and I have fixed my enchanting room but what I didn't know is bookshelves now drop books so now I made a complete new set of bookshelves plus some extra by accident and now I have a shit ton of books with nothing to do with them but oh well. Uh, I will however do what I forgot to do and replace the four bits of glowstone in the corners. So next thing I'm going to do is go out and see if I can do my roof. At the same time I do need to make some more stone bricks because I don't think what I have in my other chest will be enough. But we can just go check that anyway. run down here. I do believe it's in the chest in my house and from the sounds of it it's raining outside which is lovely. 36. No that's definitely not going to be enough for my whatchamacallit two towers. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. There's no more in here is there? Oh actually 64 in here. Still I'll smelt those and that should be enough. Actually, thinking about it, something I should have done a while ago is make some more furnaces because two is just not enough for the amount of crap I end up doing. Um, I think four should be enough, really. So we got that, but we can go like that and like that. Get you going, and get you going. And you can have them as well. Oops, there we go. Alright, that should be enough. So, they're just going to smelt away. I'm not really going to do much now, except wait for them to go, and then go up here and build. So. I'll be back when that's done and probably wait until it stops raining because that lags my damn laptop like crazy. So I'll be back guys. Okay so we've done all the uh, smelting and everything's all nicely done so we're just going to go up here see if it's, I think it stopped raining. And then it will be time to build which I think I'll cut again because all it is is going to be me placing down two blocks at a time of stone bricks to make these towers taller and then doing a roof which isn't exactly amazing now is it? But firstly, let's see if we can get myself another chicken. Ooh, there's another egg in there. One second. There we go. And for some reason, my animals keep escaping this place. One of the four cows I had had escaped and was on the outside, which I killed, obviously. We don't have escapees here. No, there is no such thing as escape. You either stay or die. Yes, you can jump out all you want, you're not getting away. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, redo the roof because I don't like the stone roof that I have so far and make it better and I'll be back again, so in a bit. And I'm back and I ran out of bricks, clay brick blocks, so uh, I've had to stop doing the building so far. I've got to go out and get more clay again. But as you can see, the roof is going up into a point at the top, uh, the back end like here will be just squarely put up with more of these brick blocks but it will be reclined in one so it comes up here and just meets up whereas the front end will do the same thing but instead of using the blocks it will be uh, glass panes going all the way to the top although glass panes do go in a bit so it might just be here glass panes coming up to the top which I think will look pretty cool. Now I've got a problem with the uh, roof of the towers because of the way the towers are built it sticks out as a square here and a bit of a square here so that because it's built so that I have a pathway going in through here which makes 
building the roof to a point like I wanted it to uh, a bit difficult so I think I might have to make the roofs flat and have like a guard tower look to the top rather than a like medieval pointed tower look to the top but it's going okay so far I'm quite liking the look of it I've still got to finish it off obviously I've not even started building up the other tower to the level of what I want it to be which is this level here but I have had a bit of an idea for these something to add extra to these towers which I think I'm gonna go do now and come back and see what you guys think to it so there will be another cut here but it's looking pretty nice so far I like the uh, ooh, another egg I like the contrast of the brick and the stone brick but the fact that they are both built similar uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say really, but I, I, I'm I'm liking the look of it. It should look pretty cool once I get the glass panes up there and finish the roof off and finish off both towers. So, again, another cut here. I apologise if you guys don't like the cuts, but if you don't, then just actually let me know in the comments and I'll try and uh, stop that, but I'll be back again. So, this was my little idea for my towers. Might have some uh, lava spewing out from the front of them. At the moment there's just blocks uh, going into the ground there, but I'm thinking I might turn it into a lava moat that goes all the way around my uh, building, which I think might look pretty darn cool. So let me know what you think, I'm still a bit iffy about it, but I do like it at the same time, I don't know. It looks weird, but it looks good, I think. But let me know what you think anyway, I can uh, easily get rid of them anyway. So I think now I am going to go back for my long ass trip into the nether which again I'm going to be cutting for because I'm not going to record the amount of time it's going to take me to find another fortress think about how long it took me to find the damn first one so when I'm back I should be back with some blaze rods so see you again well guys I'm not gonna lie I died again but there is a plus side to this. I died when I went back, not when I went the first time. The first time I did find a fortress and I did find some blazers and I killed some blazers. And I did go back to my fortress which is now uh, improved and I dropped my blaze rods in here. So I have blaze rods which I'm happy about. So the reason I died is because I wanted more. I was getting a bit greedy. I went back to try and get some more, even though I didn't have that many provisions, which is why I ditched all my stuff in here. But yeah, I died. <laughs> but on the plus side, I have all my stuff still, and I'm going to take it all with me back. But I will show you that now I have, whoops, now I have a, a much better fortress going on here vastly improved and it's got some uh, areas for me to shoot out with a bow and arrow once I make one because I've still not made one because I don't know why but yeah back to the real world get the hell out of the never for now anyway uh, obviously I'm gonna have to do more trips there because I'll want more blaze rods for ender eyes because I have decided I will, uh, in this world, go to the end, because why the hell not? But, oh, still got my diamonds in there, forgot about those. Get that string, and I can make a bow finally, let's do that first, which is like this, I believe. There we go. Just need to see, I think I've got some arrows in one of my other chests, so that can get done later. But anyway, I can now make my two brewing stands that I wanted. One, two. Now I do believe glass bottles are made like this, aren't they? Yep, there we go. Got some glass bottles. Now we need some uh, water. Uh, you can store water in cauldrons and I think I will do that actually because I can't be asked constantly making uh, trips out of here to go get some uh, water although I do have my infinite water source here so I guess that's fine 
Yeah, we'll just get it from here. There we go. So now we can make potions, which is excellent. So now I've got my enchantments and my potions going. Although I keep dying, so my enchantments haven't gone right yet. Although I think for next episode I will go find a dungeon and make a mob spawner trap so that I can get some easy experience because I want to. Now two brewing stands at the moment are pretty useless but once I get more bottles and more ingredients going on it'll be a hell of a lot better. What do we need? We need never what, don't we? Oh, no. Pick it up. Uh, One bit of never what, start brewing that up. No more need for blaze rods, so it can all be blaze powder now. I thought it was blaze cream. Hmm, not so sure. Gold nugget. Ah, that's something I need to do. I need to go find a abandoned mineshaft and search for melon seeds. So I guess that will be what I'll be doing next episode because I want. Uh, I think I'm going to annihilate my uh, mushroom farm because it's just not productive enough for it to even be bothered to be there and I will make a melon farm which I can then make glistening melons out of and obviously get even more food because glistening melons make instant health potions I do think so those will be very useful. And that I do believe will give me resist fire potions, which is what I want. Well, that does that. I'll actually use these diamonds finally. So I've got my diamond sword, which can stay in there until I enchant the bugger, because I don't want to be using it until I enchant it. And then my pickaxe, I will also go search out. I'm on my last bit of food, which is two bits of chicken. But I have plenty of wheat in my inventory, although I'd rather use that for uh, mating my animals to get better food, because bread isn't the most productive food to eat in the world. Run back up here, and then ditch this pickaxe in here. Because this uh, chest can double up for the chest for the enchanting room, I guess. It's the closest one to it. And my potion should be done. Potion of strength. Oh, well. That's not what I thought I was going to get, but still useful. So they can go at the bottom here. Because I think I will take one with me to the uh, blah blah blah. I can't think what I was going to say. To the abandoned mine shaft. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I think I'll take one with me to the abandoned mine shaft. Uh, you can get put in there. Uh, but I don't care about you. But just go there. Yeah, that'll do for now. I, I'm not exactly uh, the most organised person when it comes to chests. I have to admit, and it bugs me when they're not organised. But I can just never be bothered to organise them. So at conflict with my. Uh, OCD-ness wanting me to organise them and my laziness telling me not to. But I think that's it for now guys. There's not really much I can do this episode because I want to go for to an abandoned mine shaft but I think I'm about to go to about 10 minutes in this episode so there's no point cutting to that because I'll only get like 4 minutes of footage worth where I think I'll rather have an entire episode in there so I will just call it an episode this time. I'm sorry it's been a bit short but I've not really had that much for me to do. I didn't want to show me dying again that kind of uh, bugged me last episode but oh well I'll live so please comment rate subscribe and goodbye see you next time just one more thing guys uh, I've just recorded a new intro to my uh, Minecraft let's play series so I'm just wondering whether you guys actually like it I'm gonna put it at the start of this clip and obviously you'll see it tell me if you think I should keep it or get rid of it and just go back to no intro whatsoever so uh Thanks, bye.